The woman suing Usher for herpes has hired Tamika Foster, Usher's ex-wife, her lawyer. Tony Scott here. Look at Tony's tea. Some entertaining headlines have grabbed my attention today. The woman, known in court papers as Jane Doe, has hired Tamika Foster's lawyer that represented her in the custody case over her two sons with Usher and lost. Her name is Lisa West, but she's representing this new woman. Like I said, her name is Jane Doe. Now, Jane Doe says that she only had sex with Usher twice, the first time with a condom, the second time without. And after she heard about the check last week that Usher wrote to this woman for $1.1 million for giving her herpes, allegedly, she got tested and it came back positive. Keisha Cole says there is no sex going on between her and her soon-to-be ex-husband, Daniel Booby Gibson. She says they're in a good space right now. There's no bickering. There's no confrontations, probably because they're not having sex. She begins her tenure on Love & Hip Hop Hollywood this coming Monday night, and Keisha and Booby are not even having sex for old times' sake. I never got the whole thing about like having a baby with somebody and then kind of dibbling and dabbling in the sexual area from time to time. I don't think that that's healthy for the two parents involved, but also for the child, I don't think it's healthy. And today marks the two year anniversary of the passing of Bobby Christina Brown, Whitney and Bobby's baby girl. Bobby Christina died on this date in 2015. Now the medical examiner says that Bobby Chris was intoxicated with a mix of marijuana, alcohol, morphine, and some other drugs. And of course, the world believes that her boyfriend at the time, Nick Gordon, was behind the whole thing. At KRV.com, thoughts and prayers up for Kenya Moore. And make sure you watch Usher do carpool karaoke with James Gordon. Thanks for checking out Tony's T for Smooth R&B 105.7. I'm Tony Scott.